undoubtedly the trickiest thing that we've looked at yet. We're now going to make a, a bridge over the island, sorry, over to the island, which is just over here. Now we're going to use the path tool to do this, which is this one here, the kind of robot arm thing. We'll use the path tool in our next um, interactive activity that we're going to make, a race game. And we, we can use the path tool to, to program routes for sprites on screen. But here I'm going to use it to make a bridge. So I've selected the path tool, and here's the tricky bit. What I'm then going to do is right mouse click where I want my bridge to start. And I'm going to choose Add a Road. And you can see it's put a node. It's a node part of the path that we're putting in one of the, the red balls here. I'm going to put another node in the middle and a final node on the far side. Just like before, when the nodes are highlighted, we can change the colour. So let's leave that as a, as a yellow. And it's a bit difficult getting rid of this final little node. But if you press the escape key, we'll get rid of that for you. Now I'm going to go back to, back to that central node, so it's glowing, and right mouse click. And I'm going to choose change height. And I'm just going to make it a little bit higher. If I make it too high, then it will be very difficult for Kodu. For Kodu to climb over the top. Um, you can also, when we're on the, the path tool, if you want to make any changes, we go back to the path tool and press escape to get rid of that. When you're actually hovered over one of the nodes, you can, as it tells you in the context menu, not only change the colour with left or right, but if you go up or down, you can actually change the style of the bridge. Ooh. And if you do lose, happen to lose the node there, as I have just done, then you have to hunt around until you can find the node you're after. That'll be fine. Let's see if our code can navigate over our bridge now, avoiding the missiles as well. Sides. Those glass sides can be turned off as well. It falls off into infinity. There we go. So my island that I've made now is accessible.